Hey everyone, you've heard about the controversy with, you know, Assassin's Creed. This is funny in some ways, but it's, it's, it's not funny in many ways. We've seen cultural appropriations all over Hollywood, all over the gaming industry. You've never cared until the person don't look like you. Then you cared. You didn't care about a cultural appropriation in Egypt, Asia. I mean, these are real movies. Tom Cruise. These, these are real movies. This is, this is the impression that we get. This is the impression that we get. You're okay with this, the one at the top. You're not okay with this, the, the second one. You're like, oh, they're ruining everything. So Shogun was definitely a very interesting show, for sure. But why isn't it just all Japanese people? Why is it just all Japanese people? Here's the funny thing about Shogun. Here's the funny thing about Shogun. You know, it's actually loved by a lot of people. But if you don't want cultural appropriation, then should it just be all Japanese people? Wait until they find out that this guy isn't white. Silence. You hear the crickets? I'm not joking. This guy's not white. You don't believe me? Give me a minute. What's this actor's name? Oh yeah, let's uh let's find a cast. There he is. Cosmo Jarvis. Who's Cosmo Jarvis? <laughs> Who is Cosmo Jarvis? By the way, that's Cosmo Jarvis. Now, j j j <laughs> this is a guy who's able to play both a black dude and a white dude. I don't know about his heritage, but I know African hair when I see it. When I Google this man, I couldn't believe it because what they did in the movie, they did a great job with makeup. This man looks 100% white, but in reality, that's that hair. I, I'm familiar with that kind of hair. You see, that kind of hair is part African. See that kind of hair? Hmm. You see that kind of hair? Hmm. But not just hair, facial features. You can clearly tell this dude is black. This guy is saying maybe this is their strategy. Adding a main character for the game. That's really controversial and that way it'll distract from the fact that you're trying to get people to spend $130 for the effing game. Um, <laughs> there ain't nothing new about that. I'm, they can have all my money. <laughs> it's, it don't act like they've never done this. They did it to you. They did it to us. This is marketing. This is a video game for God's sake. What do you expect them to do? Yes, I'm buying. Oh, but you're buying because they put a black character. Do you know they're just tricking you? I don't care. As long as the game is good. I don't care if the samurai looks purple. But you care. I don't care what the samurai looks like. Oh, so now you care about Asian people representation and inaccuracy throughout history. That's odd. You've never cared before. It's odd. You know, you want to create some controversy, you just put a black person in. Then they say it's cultural appropriation. This is a real character based on real history. There ain't no cultural appropriation here. <laughs> <laughs> and it ain't your culture. But you want to talk like it is. Yeah, it's just interesting how you're okay with this. Why is the Anjin in a Japanese show? Oh, it's it's... It's amazing storyline. It's it's about real history. It, it actually happened. Yeah, this happened too. This guy's real. This happened too. But you don't care. Why don't you care? But you know, it's very interesting. Some people, like him, you're probably one of those people watching. You're not able to see it for what it is. For the last few years, this black samurai, based on a real character, real person, real history, for the last few years, his popularities have been exploding online. It's been exploding. But if you don't pay any attention to that, you wouldn't know. I'm one of those people who have paid attention to it. So when they decided to 
make a game based on based on Japan and they decided to put a guy that's actually been fairly popular recently it makes sense this is business of course they put a popular character he also happens to be part of feudal Japanese history what the f what the French toast is wrong with y'all just enjoy the game this guy's real you know he's a real samurai this guy's a real samurai you know the the first African samurai he, there's an animation about this guy this guy's a real person. This is real history. A man who went to Japan, a black man who went to Japan, an African, learned Japanese, became a legendary samurai. This is real history. And the Japanese people are actually proud of this history. It's only you that are not proud of this history because you're neither Japanese or African. But the Japanese have always been proud of this history. They've never hidden away from this history. Japanese people have actually embraced this, this history. They didn't cover it up. They didn't cover it up and pretend like it didn't exist. They didn't, they didn't change his skin tone, lighten his skin tone. Oh yes, let's lighten Yasuko's skin tone. Let's lighten his skin tone. He was never African. No, they didn't do that. You don't have a problem with that when that's done. Inaccuracy throughout movies history. You've got a problem with it now? Now you choose. This is the hill you choose to die on. <laughs> well, you're going to be dead. <laughs> because they can't just create video games out of the sake of creating video games. These people run a business and this business needs to make profit. Yasuke is probably the most popular samurai right now in the world in throughout history. Not in Japan. In Japan, completely different because that's their history. But outside of Japan, he's probably the most famous samurai right now. Name me another one throughout history who's more famous or that anyone cares about. This guy actually has an incredible story. This guy has a reason to be famous. Now, on the other hand, I, I get why some people would be upset because they're saying, well, um, you're creating a game based on Japan. Why not just use Japanese characters? I get that. I do get that. Some people, some people are not, are not trying to be racist. Not everyone is trying to be racist, but I've seen a lot of comments where there's a lot of racist people who are upset about this. Some of them have different reasons. Not everyone is racist. True. <coughs> because if it was the other way around, I'd probably understand if you were to create a video game based on an African culture or a Jamaican culture, and use a white character, then I'd be like, um, why didn't you just use an African character for representation? I get that because I'm African, because I'm Caribbean. What I don't get is the Japanese people are okay with this. You don't seem to compute that. And the amazing thing is that the game is not just about him. You know, the game is not just about him. You know, the game is not just about him. Oh, look at that. <laughs> the, the, the game is based on two characters. But the stealthy character, everyone is ignoring her because they can't see her. Oops. This game has probably the... Psycho psychologically wise, if this is real, like promotion based on psychology, I'm not even upset. I'm just game recognized. Game! Because it's genius. You ignore the stealth character because she's stealth. Yuzuku is not the stealth character. People are complaining like, how are you gonna get a how are you gonna get a black guy to be stealth in Japan? He's not the stealth character, you goddamn idiot. Enjoy the game for what it is. It's giving you two realities, two characters with two different two different abilities. Yuzuka is a machine. He's a he's a lion, he's a tractor, he he clears down everything in his path. Y'all are really mad about this. But you know, me being black, I'm like, I love Yusuk, I've been waiting for like TV show, movie, games based on this guy, based on this character, even if it's not 100% accurate. History is never 100% accurate. You should look at your own disappointment. I mean, just look at Hollywood films. No complaints, by the way, no complaints. But um, somehow you want to complain about this when this is based on actual real history. At least this is real. You can't say this is not real. 
You can't say this is not real history. So what's your excuse? I don't understand why people... Oof. And these are the same idiots that will play this game. And if it's good, they will love it. They'll still say, oh, but I still feel like they shouldn't have used a black guy. But they'll be like, but at least the game is good. Oh, yeah, yeah. But if the game is not good, they're going to be like, you see? You see? This always ruins game. And they'll just cry, cry, cry. They'll just cry. Cultural appropriation occurs in all art forms throughout all civilization in all countries in different ways. It does. It does occur. And there's definitely real cultural appropriation. And then there is the other thing. Let's listen to what this guy has to say. So I usually don't care for IGN, but I stand with my Asian people. So Matt Kim wrote this article about the outrage that is centered around Assassin's Creed Shadows, where all of a sudden people care so much about the Asian identity when that idea is centered around a black man. What I find like crazy about this entire situation, like I haven't even played Assassin's Creed in like years. I've never seen it. And you can't tell me that this is the first time it's being done. Asian appropriation has been done a lot. To the point that y'all don't even know it's appropriation anymore. <laughs> That's how ridiculous it is. Now, black people, we loud. We gonna speak. We gonna tell you. So you gonna hear us because we gonna tell you. Asian people are a bit more reserved. But a great deal of them are quite reserved. They do things different. They accomplish their goals different. We'll just tell you. And you hate us because of that. This tweet says, this is your Souk AC situation. It's similar to how white people would get involved in racial identity discussion about ancient Egyptians, not because they care about the identity of Egyptians, but rather due to their hatred of black people. It's not just the hatred of black people, it's the hatred of seeing us do well in any capacity. They don't care about, you know, appropriation when we're, when we're in a position where it's degrading. They care about it when we're represented in a position that is highly regarded such as the darker you go back throughout history especially african and egyptian history wasn't even called egypt but the the, the further back you go the darker the, the darker it gets and they hate that shit i've seen the memes i've i've seen any i've seen everything everyone complaining about assassin's creed shadow having a black samurai also had a problem with this right no no y'all didn't have a problem with that is that blue eyes? Did I just saw blue eyes? Blonde hair? Hold on a minute. This man is not Asian. I don't recall any complaints. You didn't, you still don't. You don't care. Because if you cared, you wouldn't have ignored her. You wouldn't have ignored her character. The main character, you wouldn't have ignored her. But the big, black, strong, stoic dude. Woo! Woo! That gets y'all mad. And what gets y'all even more mad is that the Japanese have no problem with this. They got no problems with this. Look at this. Not gonna lie, this could be the first Assassin's Creed game I've played in years. Leaked images suggest that the protagonist of Assassin's Creed Shadows might be Yasuk, the world's first black samurai. This is the world's first black samurai. What's wrong with having him in a Japanese game when he made his way to Japan to become a renowned samurai? Is that Japanese people are celebrating... A lot of black gamers are also celebrating. I've seen some that are complaining, which is odd, but um, perhaps they just didn't want a black character either, which again is odd. Find out something new every day. What you will find is that there's a lot of people who are actually surprised. And what you will find is that there's actually a lot of people who find this exciting. It's based on real history. They'll actually like, this is not like they just took a random African and made him a samurai who's never been a goddamn samurai. No, 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 no. This is based on real history. They're not like us. They're not like us. They're not like us. Mm, mm. They're not like us. They're not like us. You ain't like us. Mm -mm. You ain't. There's a lot of people excited about this game. You just... It, it actually makes sense for them to, you know, put Yuzuko in this situation. It actually makes a lot of sense. Look at the art. Look at the art that's coming out. This is what I mean. It actually makes sense how they're doing it. It made sense, but I think it only makes sense to people who actually excited for this so shogun was definitely a very interesting show for sure but why isn't it just all japanese people why is it just all japanese people here's the funny thing about shogun here's the funny thing about shogun you know it's actually loved by a lot of people 
But if you don't want cultural appropriation, then should it just be all Japanese people? Wait until they find out that this guy isn't white. Silence. You hear the crickets? I'm not joking. This guy's not white. You don't believe me? Give me a minute. What's this actor's name? Oh yeah, let's uh let's find a cast. There he is. Cosmo Jarvis. Who's Cosmo Jarvis? <laughs> Who is Cosmo Jarvis? By the way, that's Cosmo Jarvis. Now, j j j <laughs> this is a guy who's able to play both a black dude and a white dude. I don't know about his heritage, but I know African hair when I see it. When I Google this man, I couldn't believe it because what they did in the movie, they did a great job with makeup. This man looks 100% white, but in reality... That's that hair. I, I'm familiar with that kind of hair. You see, that kind of hair is part African. See that kind of hair? Hmm. You see that kind of hair? Hmm. But not just hair, facial features. You can clearly tell this dude is black. You'll never, you would never have known. You would have never have known. But ain't nobody gonna scream. Cultural appropriation. Oh my God. Cultural appropriation. You don't believe that this guy's black? You don't believe? <laughs> you ain't going to scream cultural appropriation. Ooh, gotcha. Gotcha. Oh, you don't believe? That's African hair. That's the kind of hair that you'd find commonly on a lot of mixed race kids, especially in the UK, North Africans. Even some East and South Africans, even, you know, um, even some West Africans as well mixed, you know, don't get mad. Look at the hair. That hair is an African man's hair. You'd find that on modern day Egyptians who are also mixed, you know. But hey, like I said, I couldn't believe it when I saw it. But again, if you don't believe me, there you go. There you go. There you go. Oh, you don't believe me? There you go. There you go. Hey, but um, <laughs> is it cultural appropriation or did it became cultural appropriation just now when you saw this video? Or was it always cultural appropriation that they made a black guy play the white guy in Japan? Ooh, woo. What are y'all going to say about this? Because they even trick y'all into thinking that this guy was white. Nah, this guy got melanin. He's he's melanated a little bit. He's not heavily melanated. He might not even identify as black. I don't think he does. But you cannot hide the African hair. We can spot that shit from a mile away. You know what else I can spot? Hair that's been perm. You see how it looks soggy? <laughs> that's not white people hair. <laughs> you see the texture? You ain't fooling nobody. Get out of here with your nonsense. But hey, this is the video. Oh, y'all really think this guy... Oh, y'all really thought this guy was white, huh? Y'all really thought this man was white. This melanated man. Think again. Think again. Like I said, he might not even, uh, uh, you know, um, identify as black. But um, when I cut my hair, that's what my hair looks like when it's low. But when we grow it out, it looks a little bit different. Mine is way more curly. His is a bit more relaxed. That's also part of the black community, naturally and perm, either way. But I know it when they try to fake black hair. But I know, but I know what it looks like when, when black hair try to fake white hair. I, we, we all know this. That's the end of the video. Thank you for watching. Subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Cultural appropriation, my ass.